Hey everyone, it's Kelly with My Metamorphosis and we are doing another belated Tasty Tuesday, Tasty Tuesday on Wednesday. I apologize. Like I said, sometimes that's just going to happen. We were so tired after getting back from our short trip. So, so yeah, we are going to do um, a pot roast meal tonight in the Gourmia pressure cooker and I'm excited to share this with you. So sit back, relax, grab a drink, grab a snack or cook with me and let's jump on into this.
Okay, guys, so by the way, ignore all this. Okay, I'm in the middle of organizing things and I'm using this to put things on. Um, I'm also getting some things ready to do trash to treasure videos for you guys and um, some DIYs. So yeah, please just excuse that jumbled up mess over there. So we're gonna go ahead and um, set this, I'm gonna set this to saute. Um, and we're going to let this sit for just a, a few, maybe like 30 seconds. And, um, and then we're going to put the meat in here. And by the way, I do not have any beef broth and I didn't realize that. So I'm definitely going to be, um, improvising okay so but that's kind of the type of cook I am I just kind of improvise so so yeah I got all the seasonings on the pot roast and we've got some garlic powder on there ranch seasoning all kinds of good stuff and um, I'm actually even though this is a non-stick let me go ahead and take the lid off Even though this is um, a non-stick pot, we're gonna add just a little bit of oil in there. Just so we can kind of get a little searing going on. So just a little bit of canola oil. And then I'm gonna just let that sit. Let me move these. Let that sit for another 30 seconds or so and I hope everyone is doing great I hope everyone is staying safe and well so um, by the way I have a vlog my very first vlog um, uploading right now and I've had a heck of a time getting it uploaded so hopefully you'll see that before this but I want to get this out tonight so we're just gonna cross our fingers so um, so yeah, we're just going to go ahead and open this on up. The oil is bubbling in there. Going to set this meat, move it around just a little bit in there. Get my hands a wash. And then we're gonna go ahead and put this back on. Close it on up. Put it to close. Gonna get this to airtight back here. And then we're gonna set pressure cook time. And, whoops. Let's see. Not wanting to do that <laughs> so I'm trying to set a timer here um, I'll be back with you guys in just one minute okay guys sorry about that so here we go we are going to press pressure cook time oh goodness all right let's try to press I'm gonna have to cancel this out again bloopers all right so we're gonna saute and we're going to pressure cook and we're gonna set this to sorry about the beeping we're gonna set this to, we're gonna check it after about 40 minutes. This is, um, I don't think I said this already, but this is about like an almost two pound roast. And so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and um, get going on cutting up red potatoes, onions, and hope you're enjoying. All right, you guys, so I let the pressure out and open this up. I did flip the, pot roast over you can see where it's um, a little bit seared there this this meat is about 10 minutes away from cooked so this is perfectly timed we're gonna go ahead and add some more seasonings I'm gonna add some butter in there just to get things soft and moist and 
um, add the carrots and the um, onions and we'll be right back.
I just, there was no rhyme or reason to the seasonings that I put on the second time around. I just kind of added some stuff to the meat, put a whole cube of butter in there to really get that meat nice and tender. And then um, I added the onions and the carrots as you saw and then the rest of the seasonings for the second time and then a cup and a half of water um, by the way I did add that other two cups of water in here before so um, in total there are uh, five and a half cups of water in here so I'm gonna let this pressurize and um, I am going to, so I guess the little BB or whatever it is, is just when it's on warm. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and press saute again, and then we're gonna do the, the cook time with, for 10 minutes. Check it after that. Sorry if you guys, or not if, sorry uh, that you saw me struggling with this before. So, um, to begin with, I should have pressed saute. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> oh my goodness, sorry. Excuse me. Um, I should have pressed saute first, let it pressurize. It doesn't matter. You can do the timer. It's just not going to, I had forgotten, it's not going to start until it's actually pressurized, if that makes sense. So, yeah. I'm still learning about this guy. Um, this was given to me by my mom. And um, so yeah, I am excited to do more recipes in this, you guys. Um, and yeah, I'm just gonna let this build up. Then that timer will, will start going down and I'll be back in just All a right, bit. All right guys, so here is one of the bowls for my neighbor dished up. And um, it's looking good and Next time I'll need some to have some broth on hand, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have not subscribed, please do so. I'd love to have you be a part of this family. And give this a thumbs up if you like this sort of video, if you like the Tasty Tuesday, even though this is on Wednesday. And send me a comment down below. I'd love to have um, hear what you have to say and become friends and turn that bell on so that you can be notified every time I upload a video. So much love to you, my butterflies. Stay safe, stay blessed, and I'll see you very soon.